third time this escalator has broken down this week. Oh. Hello. Bill is really changing the world for the better. I just can't subscribe to Taggart's Neanderthal. The world's a better place. I'm here to stand up for my right to choose. You don't have to get up anymore. Just because I don't agree with you. Watch it, sir. There are guards everywhere. Any attempt on Mr. Taggart will be met with deadly force. Human evolution is a fantasy, but that is exactly what I am telling you. As a world... Where's your sidekick, Taggart? Six months ago, Seraph Industries was attacked by mercenaries whose objective was to cripple our research. But I've learned the attack was just a smokescreen. Megan Reed's team was kidnapped, and Isaiah Sandoval, your personal aide, was involved. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for Mr. Jensen's intrusion, and I assure you that these accusations are without basis. Are they? This is Sandoval. Why are you calling me here? There's been a change of plans. Seraph's team must not make it to the hearing. But that's too soon. If you want me to remove the GPLs, I'll need a full operating suite. Does the facility have one? That's your man, Taggart. Talking about removing implanted GPL devices so that the people who took Seraph scientists could cover it up. Oh, I see what's going on here. Seraph Industries has received two black eyes in the last few days. The first due to the shocking news coming out of Montreal that biotech companies are secretly participating in unethical super soldier experiments. And the second, as a result of their violent escalation of today's peaceful protest. David Seraf and his corporate bedfellows are desperate and in imminent danger of losing the regulation boat, so this man has been sent here to attack my reputation. I'm right here, Taggart. Look at me. I admit, I wouldn't feel bad if your reputation was damaged in front of the press, since you've been doing the same to my colleagues for years. But that's not why I'm here. Seraph scientists are alive, and it's time for the truth to come out. The truth, Mr. Jensen, is that this recording of yours proves nothing. It could have been made by anyone in the world with a grudge against humanity front, and you are our prime suspect. You're right, it's not enough to get a conviction. But it's enough for a search warrant. It's all I want, Taggart. Why are you standing in the way? I'm not. I'm trying to protect... Look, Mr. Jensen. I know why you came here instead of taking your recording to the police. I know the real reason for your accusations, and you're not entirely to blame for what you're doing. It is common. After trauma, such as the one you suffered, to fixate on the event, to stay blocked in the past. In a word, you're obsessed. I can worry about myself later. What's really important now is the five innocent people whose lives were stolen from them during that attack. Sandoval knows where they are. Now, where is he? I... I don't want to see anyone's lives stolen from them. What is it you're truly looking for here? Absolution? A return to the feeling of control you lost when your limbs were taken from you? Do you think coming here today and casting me as your enemy will help you achieve that? I have an idea, Taggart. Why don't I give my recording to that reporter down there? He has a machine that can prove it's real right now, once and for all. Of course, when he says it's genuine, I guess it'll be top news story for the next few weeks, and you can kiss your vote goodbye. On the other hand, 
If you talk to me backstage, I can hold on to this recording, and you can keep the benefit of the doubt for a little while longer. Very adroit, Mr. Jensen. Nicely played. I see you have me over a barrel. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but I'm going to have to beg your indulgence for a few moments more. If you will all please remain patient, I will return as soon as I can. Thank you. Mr. Jensen, I'll see you backstage. Taiyong Medical Corporation commented on the images. I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not and never will condone. I hope you're not here to disturb Mr. Taggart. That would be a mistake. Mr. Jensen, I appreciate you allowing me to deal with this in a more discreet manner. Save it, Taggart. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Now, where's Sandoval? He has an apartment he uses when in this city, on Grand River Road. He mentioned he was feeling very run down, so I can only assume he went there. I see. He's not an evil man, Mr. Jensen. If he's done what you say, it's only because of his brother, Ezekiel. A man you might know better as Zeke Sanders. Sanders? The man who attacked Sarah's manufacturing plant? I knew nothing about it until after it was over, and then I tried. I, I tried to convince Isaiah not to follow in his footsteps. Good job. Mr. Jensen, please. Isaiah has done so much for so many needy people, people suffering from implant rejection. Promise me you will deal with him fairly. That all depends on Isaiah. I... I understand, but please try. I've told you all I know, Mr. Jensen. Isaiah has an apartment on Grand River Road. This is Eliza Sands, reporting to you live from Picus. This is important. Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? Uh, I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... <sighs> Damn it. Look, something big is going down and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB'er, Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets. No, 
No, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. The prick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kind of busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You gotta help me find Jacob. I'm sorry, Nick, but I'm not a cop anymore. Jensen, please. I know you traded in your badge for a paycheck, but once a cop, always a cop. Do the right thing here. I need your help. We need your help. Always a pleasure, sir. What's your pleasure, friend?
Always a pleasure. What? See you. Access grant. You sure you closed the door? Yeah, yeah, of course I did. What do you think I am, an idiot? You're not gonna make me answer that, are you? this. You sure you closed the door? Yeah, yeah, of course I did. What do you think I am, an idiot? You're not gonna make me answer that, are you?
You sure you closed the door? Yeah, yeah, of course I did. What do you think I am, an idiot? You're not going to make me answer that, are you? Someone's getting them. You sure you closed the door? Yeah, yeah, of course I did. What do you think I am, an idiot? You're not going to make me answer that, are you? Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Why do we always get assigned to the shittiest spots? Yeah, why would it? Hey, did you hear that?
If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's on the edge. There's no telling what... I heard that. Stop messing around. Pritchard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Why do we always get assigned to the shittiest spots? Yeah, why would anyone come down here? I think... Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Why do we always get assigned to the shittiest spots? Yeah, why would anyone come down here? I think they're afraid someone's gonna try to sneak a bomb into the Doc's locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the Doc's head than what's in his locker.
And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you. Do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Seraph's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but... My court will be a higher one. Have not. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt, the shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. Look, I understand your situation better than you think. I quit the force because I couldn't stand what the people in charge were doing to it. But they went to the press and told them I'd been the problem the whole time. Power always sacrifices its subordinates to save itself. But you have my word. You can get through this. I appreciate your faith in me, Mr. Jensen. And remembering that others have gone through similar events can be helpful. But is it enough? It wasn't enough to be a doctor or to attack the infection at its source with Humanity Front. I had to try harder to help people and I pushed too far. What else could I have done? How do people live in a world surrounded by human misery every day? Or am I the only person who feels this way? Tell me, what lesson are you teaching your kids by killing yourself? It's bad enough they're gonna find out you're a criminal, but you want them to be quitters too? Kill yourself now, and you'll be telling them it's okay to take the easy way out. I know you don't want that. So put the gun down. Show them by your example that you want them to grow up to be fighters. You son of a bitch! Using a man's family against him! I deserve to die, you understand? I've earned it! God damn! But I can't let them repeat my mistakes. I can't. Take the gun, for their sake. They 
Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. Detroit, Toronto, Mumbai. You don't need to babysit me, Mr. Jensen. I have no intention of killing myself anymore. Nor will I resist arrest when the police arrive. I assume your people have already contacted them? If they haven't yet, they will be soon. Then go. Use the information I gave you to track down your scientists. With any luck, they will still be alive. The men who kidnapped them? The soldiers? I don't know who they were. Only last names. Barrett and Namir. I sense they were highly trained professionals. Working for who? I didn't ask. My brother, Ezekiel, put them in touch with me. Your brother? Not Taggart? Bill wouldn't be so stupid as to get his own hands dirty. I see that now. He's like Teflon. Nothing ever sticks. Our facilities first hand. They will find nothing but order, progress, and moral Access grant. Fuck them cops, man. Yeah. <clears throat> rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening after viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by PICAS. Detroit, Please. Toronto, no. Mumbai, and Rio de Janeiro all report violence. <laughs>
Looks as if the ball is now firmly in the United Nations court. Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening after viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by PICUS. Detroit, Toronto, Mumbai, and Rio de Janeiro all report violent clashes taking place uh. outside the doors of the well-known fire... Re-establishing security systems. Soon, Mr. Jensen. Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. I got a message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Even if it was true that we were breeding a bunch of augmented soldiers and training them, what do they think stopping us from going home and throwing a bunch of rocks is gonna do? Access granted. Access grant. Access grant. Thank <laughs> you. 
Access grant. Christ, what's with this super soldier BS? I know we've done some work for the DOD, but come on.
Access granted. Access granted. Sheriff? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientist yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years? Plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the promised land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengsha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning the conspirators probably know I'm coming. Boss said we're heading back to Hangsha. Pritchard tracks Evchenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in.
Bad news, spy boy. Spy boy? Hangshaw traffic control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. What the hell? We've got a Sam locked on our tail. <laughs> Jensen, all systems are down. Oh. Hang on, we're going in hard. Jump, Jensen! Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jen. Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a city duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen. <coughs> you... <coughs> out of here yet, <coughs> spy boy? Malik? Find Vasily. Jensen, keep them safe. Bye-bye, asshole! Go to hell. You bastard! Farina! <laughs> Surround him and take him down! Roger that, sir. He has to be around here. Jensen, I've been monitoring calm activity around Hengsha. Bell Tower's looking for you. Hard. Bastards ambushed us, Pritchard. Malik didn't make it. Oh, God. I... I know you might want to get even. But if they see you, if they recognize you, it might be better to stay out of their way.
Jensen? Jensen, the World Health Organization is advising all augmented patients to check in with Lim. There's a problem with biochip technology. The glitches I've been experiencing. We've all had them. So far, I can't determine why. You heading to a clinic? I'm running a few more tests. But since I can't exactly run them on you, and we don't know when you'll be back, you might not want to wait. Up to you. So I imagine Versalife's got to have an opinion on things. Think they'll give up all that money to get on the rock? You're here for recall? Oh, thank you. Returning to tonight's biggest story. You want best in the city? Thank you. Come. Mr. Jensen, 
Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. You're in the wrong part of town, Lao Wai. Go back. Don't find that crap, man. It's indentured slavery. You Daryl pays for your augments. Is someone there? Access grant. Someone there? But no serious. Hello? Who's that? That's far enough, Guaylo.
tongue. You disappoint me, Jensen. I thought we were friends. Then my hacker goes missing. You break into my place of business, and you don't even have the manners to knock when you enter our room. A lot of Bell Tower heavies looking for you, and you reason I don't just turn you over. Yeah, Vasily Savchenko. Never touch the stuff. You're wearing his arm. GPL device inside it, let me straight to you. Scavenged tech. Get you every time. Wrong woman, don't do that, you hear? Sorry to say, the man I got this from wasn't in a position to complain. Bell Tower gave us his corpse a few weeks ago. Bell Tower? Not Tai Young? Tai Young's not the one grabbing people off my streets and giving me choice Og, so I close my eyes. Sevchenko had four other scientists with him. I'm not wearing any of them. So maybe they're still alive, and maybe I help you out with this. Go on. I've got a pretty good idea where Bell Tower's been dragging people. Problem is, Bastard's got my son. And he gets a bullet if I step out of line. See where I'm going with this? Where is he being held? One of my Harvester boys will tell you all about it. Meet him in the sewers near the Alice Garden pods. Then, when you free my boy, come back and we talk some more. I can hardly wait. You find my boy Lao Wai. He's smart, but he's not a fighter. On the rise, and there's nothing we can do about it. You know why there's nothing we can do about it? Because we're not doctors or scientists. And the scientists and doctors who are supposed to be finding a cure are doing jack smack shit. Tell me something. How can men. <laughs> Access granted. Supporters of the Humanity Front movement. The pro human organization has been earlier in the week, but police detached. Once the hostage situation at Seraph Industries. You got a free pass from the boss, but don't try anything stupid, or you're going to end up as spare parts.
Come back any time. static disturbances have been flooding in from around the globe. Spokeswoman for the WHO confirms that You want tongs, boys? No. I just like hanging out in the sewers because they smell better than what I eat for breakfast. Any other stupid questions? Not yet. But if I come up with one, I'll be sure to ask. Where's the kid? We thought he was in the upper city, holed up nice and tight inside the bell tower compound. But as it turned out, the fox got nervous. Didn't like the look of tongs flex stick, so they moved his son someplace safer. What could be safer than inside Bell Tower headquarters? You're about to find out, Migrant. They're holding him just around that corner in the basement of an old noodle factory. Won't be easy getting him out either, because the men guarding him aren't your typical Bell Tower police. These are warriors. Specially trained. Heavily augmented. I have a feeling I may have met them before. If that's the case, you got an escape plan? You are the escape plan, my friend. Didn't Tong tell you? If Bell Tower finds out anyone else is involved, Things are going to get very ugly in Lower Hengsha. So Tong's willing to risk his kid's life on one man's abilities? Not necessarily. When you get to Tong's son, give him this. He'll know what to do with it. Now get going. Wouldn't want you to miss your next ride.
Father, how long is it going to take to break me out of here? I'm bored almost to tears. You tongues, kid. So my mother keeps telling me. But you are neither bell tower nor Chinese. Am I to assume my honored father is covering his back by sending you into spring me instead of his harvesters? Wise assumption. Let's get out of here. I don't think so. Last time I checked, bell tower had a lot of firepower out there. You may have been able to slip past them with ease, but I'm thinking it's safer in here. No offense, American. None taken. I wasn't crazy about the odds myself, but when I questioned it, I was told to give you this. Well, well. <laughs> Way to go, father. This changes everything. Assuming they reassembled it correctly. You ready to go? 
Yeah, but stick close. Your father and I have some unfinished business to take care of, and it all goes to shit if I don't get you back to him in one piece. Don't worry about that. I'll make sure father sticks to his promise. Maybe even get him to throw in a little extra. But as grateful as I am for your assistance, from here on in, it's every man for himself. See you later.
You have talent, Jensen. You ever need a job, you tell me. I'll hook you up. I take it the kid made it back in one piece? He says I owe you a weapon. I always repay my debts. With interest. That's one debt paid. Now tell me what you know. Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They think nobody notices, but I keep an eye. Every couple of days, one of them loads up in the middle of the night and sails out. Heading where? A wise man doesn't ask. I just know the Heizen Su pulls out tonight. And where she make port, I bet you find your scientists. That's a whole lot of maybe, Tong. True. But maybe you lucky more times than I can count. Bell Tower runs tight security. How do you expect me to get on their ship? One of my boys will leave a package inside a locker for you in an equipment shed. You find it, we talk. And I tell you what to do next. I'll be waiting with bated breath, I'm sure. Ah, you... Bye bye, I see you soon. Access granted.
人吗 ？What are you doing? Sure could teach my boy some tricks, Jensen. Tong? How did you get this frequency? Ancient Chinese secret. Now listen. You're going to plant that package in Administrator Wang's office. Put it on the bastard's desk and trigger it. Sound good? Sounds like I'm doing you a favor. How does it help me? The explosion should distract the guards. Then you hop in a cargo pod and off you go. But you only got one shot. No turning back once you trigger that thing, you get me? I got you. Only set it if I'm ready to go.
Yeah.